This week on People to Know, Nathaniel Hawthorne. We're here in the studio with Nathaniel Hawthorne and his story for this week, Young Goodman Brown. Thanks for having me on the show, Jake. So, can you tell me anything you know about your ancestors? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, my family have long been prominent Puritans in New England, as well as holding state positions. My great-grandfather, William, worked to sentence Quakers in the witch trials of the late 17th century, and my grandfather, John, was a magistrate in the same trials. Now, do you view this as a shameful part of your history? Well, yes and no. Obviously, it's not something I look back on happily, knowing that my uh, ancestors were involved in these in these acts. However, at the time, they were held in high regards and was really, they were really important players in society, so that aspect of it is something that I can be proud of, that I have this history that is so important in the history of New England. What is your faith, and how does it relate in regards to young Goodman Brown? Well, I was raised a Puritan, as were most kids in New England. Um, actually, as you know, the majority of New England is Puritan. It's been a huge aspect of our country's history. So, as a Puritan and a Calvinist, I was raised to believe that, as a member of the human race, I was inherently depraved, and I could know, through no power of my faith, could I actually bring myself to salvation. Um, it's, you know, predestination, the idea that I and everyone else is essentially eternally damned unless we are chosen for salvation by God. Um, and through, through these teachings, I kind of had a, I've had a pushback later in my life, and it hasn't been as big a part, a part of my recent beliefs. However, having grown up with this, it has been a huge part of my life and it's had a big significance on my writing, and specifically uh, the story we're talking about, Young Goodman Brown. And should this story be read literally? It can be taken in many ways. However, like whatever speaks to you as a reader, I, didn't, I don't want to write a story that is, oh, this is my specific thought and this is what I'm putting on it. As an artist, I like to have a story that can be open to interpretation. However, it is definitely meant as an allegory. Even simple things such as his wife, Faith. Um, if the story is an allegory of Goodman Brown's journey and questioning his faith, then his wife, his name faith, but it also refers to his faith, his Puritan faith, and has a lot, draws a lot on my experiences um, with Puritanism and Calvinism. So yeah, the story is very much of an allegory and looks a lot into the aspects of religion in Goodman Brown's life. Well, thanks for being on the show today. Yeah, thanks so much. Next week on People to Know, Biggie Smalls. I was a terrorist in the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes.